Next up, we have a gentleman who is both a poet and an artist and a storyteller as well. Um, he's just about to put out his first book called Carnival of Sleep. Uh, he has been involved with the Surrealist movement for 30 years and is a Surrealist. Uh, I saw the um, cover art that he did for the book. It's amazing. Uh, and uh, he's also the publisher for Oyster Moon Press. Please give a very, very warm welcome to Ribich. Thank you. Is everybody having a wonderful apocalypse? When I was trying to decide what I was going to read, uh, uh, the fact that this is the apocalypse, uh, it decided it for me. Uh, I'm going to read uh, a piece here from Third Morning, which was my first chapbook. Oh. So I'm going to be reading from my first chapbook, uh, uh, a poem called Third Morning. I'm, I'm going to read a section of it in uh, celebration of this auspicious apocalypse day. The naked dust that tomorrow brings upon its horned head is the glowing dust that coughs ruby and stains the ears of time. Dust is wearing a death's head mask the open hole where thought escapes with a whisper, throws itself against a wall, and lies with its feet sewn to the garments of laughter. Buried deep within the storm, the swallow's throat floats within the severed brain. All that seems to be is beneath the wave, like the storm of shoes and the rain of sleeping hands. What follows the face to the other end of oblique silence extends itself like a grand balloon to expose underneath the water's edge like a hollow bone of a jackal's jaw. My burial of stone, this passion held within the mackerel's belly is like screaming sun that resembles a dog's tooth. My burial that is covered in spit and the lovely flame of death that tames the notion of grand illusions. They are cast in the wolf's eye. Illusions, a sea of beards, beards of snow, a blanket of sorrow. Illusions, illusions. This is my breast that speaks with a woman's voice caught in the clinch of devastation. It is the wild wind that croons like a vulture. This is my breast that speaks the voice of tomorrow, caught in the chain like a vulture. This is my breast, my breast of storms. The sea has ended. Its reflection can be seen on the ends of my lips. The tide of urchins with wristwatches are waiting for romance. The delirious fluxation of an ocean that no longer remembers how many anemones are murdered and raped, lying against the limit of motion? Perhaps it's a freighter of umbrellas, unable to stop the rain. The tears that fall from the cheeks of a woman's heart are so full of snails and spiderweb threads that like a glass of wine balanced on a pubic hair, the bottoms of my feet with the dry skin of swans are wearing saddles encrusted with swine. Bonafide man is rising like a flame. The phoenix of crass derangement is dancing on yellow parchment or is concealed in the hereditary myth of war. Pontifical man with his liver of golden marsupial shadows. The extent of the drama is drawn across a landscape whose barren face is folded in flame. Conical man with a mustache of dying autos and graveyards sewn to the underside of his eyelashes is playing with a deck of cards and breaking host across tortured lips. Even the birds with their leaf-covered heads, their songs of solace, tunes that make swans tremble, 
Even they feel the heat of the incantation. The mountain's rage is consumed in the mounting tremolo of a horn. Like the blast that marks an Avery called chance, this fire licks at my eyes. The larynx of its embers are molded to the bottoms of my feet, feet already calloused with the membranes of daylight. Swollen bloodlines, like the necks of horses, are placed upon the cart with clowns, dressed in cellophane. Laughter is outlawed or nailed to the moon, where the elephant winter intercedes with the dawn. The holographic fever that plays upon an xylophone of teeth knows no power other than its own. Babylon, with its graying hair, sits high upon the beach, prattle of the moon in despair. The conch, with a voice in full bloom, is leaving shattered. The moisture of salt clung to the inner chambers of the pathological winter is the dawn with its leaves of smoke taking me to the river's edge to drown my eyes in the filmy silence that is laid upon the evening's desire. The outgrowth of an ice age played out within the individual dramas that are locked in frozen water of Baroque antiquities. These woolly mammoths who enjoy the pleasure of their aloneness are sacks of coal hung on the ears of diplomats. Magnificent pachyderms with their hemophiliac futures and the power of wet chalk pasted to their eyelids, words that are somnambulistic, caustic, and rude with frozen tundra attached to their necks, nailed into position with fingerprints. They are waltzing in the gray mist that shadows find in their weeping soliloquies. Storm of hacked wings, the river is stapled to hallucination like a sacrifice made easy under a delirious moon. The spectators in formal necktie are attending the haunted banquet where fools dine with all the corpora. This is the dawn that awaits the daylight striking blow. My dawn filled with bile and blood. This is the dawn of the third morning that rocks of flesh. This is the hour of the wolf's howl. This is the third morning scented in death when all eyes look to the east to see a morning that will never be. Thank you. I have just one more poem that I'm, I'm going to read here, a little sh short one. Uh, I've always been in love with the blues ever since I was a little kid and lived uh, in Oakland and uh, heard the blues for the first time. And this is a poem called Delta Blues. Black cat bone across my shoulder like a 44 long barrel that reaches down my side like a stiff erection. Delta screams the moan of the Delta Dawn, the crossroads where the 61 and the 49 meet upon the lips of the dead. Their backs are bent with the blues, the blues with its swivel haunches of a mad dog, blood on the tracks and on the eyelids of the catfish bottoms. Crossing the yellow dog, exciting a fever of the oncoming pea vine, muddy footprints across the highway, the crossroads where at midnight the moon sings harmony on a perch, the bones of fallen guitar players who have slept beneath the moon waiting for the devil to tune their guitars, a whole host of finger-picking skeleton horses who played the Georgia skin game on the back of a black snake bone, delta heartbeat, the deep down of black mud, King Cotton with his smile of hanged men who swing from the shadow trees where the Mississippi moon hides amongst the cattails and mosquito moss. The plow stands rusting in the field like an old corpse. The delta smells of blood and mud. The delta smells of the blues and the rhythm of slavery. The delta cries out with the tears of the black mud and the death whistles in the graveyard of the hateful where the human voice of a slide guitar wails like a dead man. The delta with scars across its back, the open wounds of whips and rope, 
where the penitentiary gate swings shut on forced labor and King Cotton with bristled breast crows across the river. Mojo bags are hung from magnolia trees like dewdrops hung from a Mississippi moon. Harmonicas moan, broke and hungry, ragged and dirty. The hoodoo woman has left her door open till the flood waters recede when she will gather up the mud in her hands to form little saints and husbands, pickers and ramrods. The delta with its skin colored with the blues, whiskey brown and Mississippi mud black, white cotton stained red with blood, rising flood waters cannot wash it away but can bury it deep in the rich bottomland soil from West Memphis to New Orleans. The sound of the juke and the rollicking barrel house, the sound of the night wringing its hands of the day, the sound of the mule dying in the sun, it's carried by the whistle of the B&O on the steel veins of the southern or the watery backbone of a river that holds the secrets of the delta whose flesh is our flesh whose tears are our tears, sewn to our cuffs, not to be forgotten. These blues, like a steel guitar, ring out in the night, sounding the voice of the Delta, like a scream in the American fabric. The Delta carries its pride along with its shame. Inside a battered guitar case that is thrown across the shoulders of a blues man who is wandered, from the root and the waters of his birth, the Delta. Thank you.